were dressing up as a main character to go and search for an opa in Korea. So the look we're going for is sassy female lead who was recently dumb, so she's slightly depressed, but at the same time she's glad she can now go out there and find someone better for herself. There's a really long name, but I'm gonna shorten it somehow. So I'm gonna start with a skirt. I think it's very feminine. You can feel the Jeju wind just blowing through my skirt. So I know in UK dramas, the female leads when they wear button shirts, it's always these frilly lace collars with holes in them. But I raided my entire wardrobe and this is the closest that I could find. Even though I don't have holes at my collar, I have holes still here. Opa! <laughs> Flower earrings! I'm instantly 10% more demure with these on. Next, I have this floral necklace. <laughs> okay, shoes. Pretty old pair of sneakers, which I think suits the vibe because we want this character to be relatable. She doesn't walk around in high heels. Oh. Finally, we have her handbag. I know I just said she's relatable, but that's just how it works in K-dramas. They will wear some worn-out sneakers, but with some really nice bag. I feel like I should do something to my hair. You don't want to meet the opa of your dreams and have it this messy. I think I'm gonna make it more unzan. Like you just rolled out a bit and your hair just braided itself. Nice! Alright, I'm ready to prance around Seoul and hopefully fall into the arms of the opa. Kaza?